In this video, I'm going to show you an advanced way to migrate your notes from Evernote. And I say advanced because we're going to take a handful of notebooks in Evernote and combine them into one table with a bunch of different views in Notion. So I started this uh, page. I just imported these two images just um, to uh, be on brand. And so we're going to go. This is just a new page um, that I've customized with some logos. And we'll go into import. We'll go into Evernote. I've linked my account. I'm going to deselect them all, and I'm going to specifically go to a handful of notebooks that I use that are basically all my clippings. So there's LJ Business, LJ Books, LJ Science, and LJ Humanities. And all right, cool. So I'm going to hit import. I'm going to import these four notebooks uh, from Evernote. And as you can see, it's going through uh, the different um, uh, notes. So 70 of 91. So this is LJ Humanities, I believe. Um, OK, perfect. So what it did here, you'll see, is that it noted it uh, it took the four notebooks that I picked and made them tables inside a page called resources that it, this was the name of the notebook um, from Evernote. So I'm gonna go back. So these, if you go into books, it will have my notes from the power broker. Oh, I've only took two notes there, January 5th, 2019. Uh, what's one that's a little bit more complex? Soul of Money Notes, December 3rd, 2018. These are my notes all uh, in Markdown. So remember, every note is a page and it created four different tables. Now what I want to do is I want to merge these tables into one page, into one bigger table. So I'm going to go back into my Evernote replacement and I'm going to actually uh, click in and I'm going to create a new table. Create a full table. So this will be Evernote notes table. And it's blank. And if I expand here, you'll see Evernote notes table. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into each one of these tables. Actually, I could do it in an, yep, I would do it, go to each one of these tables and I want to grab every page. So I hold shift, holding shift. These are every, these are the different notes that I've taken. All right. And then I'm going to drag them into, so I'd move them out of LJ Humanities. So as you can see here, there's some URLs associated. Let me just wrap the text for, um, so these are all the notes that I moved in from uh, my humanities folder. A few blank notes up top. Let's just delete these. And so delete these. And I didn't use tags in Evernote, so there's none coming up here. But I want to create a new tag. It will be like Notion tags. Oops. We'll put this as a tag, as a multi-select, and I'll move this over here. Now, these were all from Humanities. So I'm going to just put this as Humanities. And then this is the one manual piece we'll have to do. And the reason why we have to do this manually is because, oops, is because, um, Um, because uh, we are merging the tables. If we didn't want to merge them, we could just leave them exactly as is. Right. Oops. Okay. Hang it tight, folks. We're almost there. All right, created a few extra ones. Let's delete those. Okay. 
and then I'm going to delete these. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna go back to resources and I'll go into, uh, let's go into business, right? Business has a handful of notes. And again, I'll go to the bottom one. I'll scroll all the way up. You'll see here, there are a few tags. Like I said, I didn't use tags often, but there are a few tags. So you'll see they'll carry over. Then I'm gonna drag this. I grab the six dots. I drag them into Evernote notes table. And uh, now business is empty. I go back into here. So now we see our notion tags for humanities. And now we'll add um, business. And um, you'll see there were those handful of, um, I don't know, those tags, I guess, didn't come over. So we'll take business and then we'll copy these over all the way down. Now, okay, so now we've migrated over all of our business notes and all of our humanities notes. And that's the end of part one. Now in part two of this video, we are going to uh, recreate different views that are actually akin to the Evernote views themselves. So one view we could use is the card view. Um, and what we could do is we'll create a new uh, uh, database in our page. Now again, this is a database within a page. We will pick uh, ev the name Evernote notes table and boom, it just dumps in in our page everything we just imported. So let's just say we want to make that a different view. Let's say we wanted to view this as cards. So I'm gonna just blow this out, get a full width to give us some more room. I'm gonna remove the sidebar. Okay, so again, giant table. This is inside our page. So let's add a view. Let's add a view that makes it um, first a list. So list view. So we create list view and now it just pulls up all of our notes uh, as one giant list. So now we can just, um, we can uh, add some filters. Um, and so we might filter, let's say we wanted to show only our um, notion tags. So we wanna show only our books as a list. So there you have it. These are these 10, 20 odd notes as a list. And we could even just show, um, we could add a filter. Actually, so that this could be, uh, uh, we'll call this um, books, books as list. And what I'll do just to clean this up a bit is I'll turn this into a toggle. And then I will drag the notes into here. So, if you want to see our books as a list, you could see you could open up this toggle. If you wanted to see our um, let's see um, science science notes as cards, we would then go back in here. Again, we do another, and then what we're doing is we're, we're creating a view onto our original database. So this is called Notion, I'm sorry, Evernote. Evernote notes table, again, pulls up all of our notes. We could change the view, let's change it to a gallery view. Type in gallery view. And here are all of our notes as a gallery view. This is just like the, um, the view in, in uh, Evernote, actually. So, and again, we can close that. So science notes as cards, and you could do what, whatever you want. Let's do one last one where we organize all of our notes in a, in a board setting. So all notes as boards. Again, we go back in, we create linked database. This is my favorite um, 
database view. So here we go, Evernote. Again, we're just looking up our Evernote notes table again. And then we would create a view that's board, board view. And um, we change the grouping. So here we group by, we wanna group by notion tags. So there are notes by humanities, business, and books. And then we hide this one. And so again, look at that. And we could sort it, if we had ranking fields, we could sort it by rank, we could sort it by date added. Um, so much power uh, in these different views. And again, we're all cleaned up. So again, the list view, cards view, boards view, our master table, Evernote master notes table. Uh, and then uh, there you have it. Hope you found this helpful.